Good afternoon everybody, welcome to the latest tech. Before I get started, I want to apologize in advance for my croggy and cracky voice. I attended an NBA playoffs game Saturday night between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. It was game seven, I had a wonderful time. So again, I want to apologize in advance. But in this video, I want to continue my coverage talking about the new iPhone or the iPhone 5th generation. So in the past, what we've actually seen is CAD drawings, we've seen digital drawings, and we've seen concepts that people have drawn up and made of what the next generation iPhone will be like. And that's definitely a huge topic regarding Apple coming this summer and into the fall. Now what we've actually seen leaked today is a back plate and a front plate of what looks to be the rumored next generation iPhone. Now what we've actually heard is that the back plate will be an aluminum back and that's sort of true. What we can see from these pictures is that it's actually a two-tone back. So going back to the first generation iPhone we actually did have a two-tone back. The top was sort of aluminum and the bottom was kind of a plastically metal black part. So what you can see in this is the top and bottom is going to be sort of a darker aluminum color well the middle it will be some sort of blackish and dark aluminum as well now that's just for the black if you look at the white you can see the white on the top and bottom and then a little bit lighter aluminum in the middle so as far as this picture goes that's just about all that it tells us can't really tell if it's going to be a beveled back, a curved back, or a back uh, similar to the first generation iPad, but we can see that it is aluminum. Now another picture that was leaked with this back plate was actually a front plate. Now what we can actually see from this is that the FaceTime camera is actually going to be moved to more centered above the headphone earpiece on the phone. Now looking at the screen size, it does definitely look a little bit bigger than the 3.5 inch screen that we see on the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S, but that's just about all that we can see from these pictures. There are going to be more pictures coming out in the future. I won't expect a release date regarding WWDC anymore, expect it more sometime in October at an October Apple Media event. So that's just about all I have for you guys today. Remember to stay tuned for more information as it comes my way. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. I'm Jacob from The Latest Tech, and I'll catch you next time.